Welcome YouTube. We'll be reviewing the Vanser Gretza mouse from Vanser. And this is back, the side, top, other side, the bottom. The color is white. So let's get this packed. There's one tape here, and one tape at the bottom. And currently I am using the Deluxe M800. Has no RGB, modded. So it is 58 grams. So we have an extra PTFE feet, blue, but that is just the plastic, so you can just wipe that off or take it off. And this is the cable. It is USB C. This is the cable. Cable tie. Take this off. It's fairly thick, so it has like a little thing. But the Deluxe M100 is much lighter. But this is a bit thicker, so that's a bit concerning. So it shouldn't be as flexible as the Deluxe M. M800 This rubber cable Just to come out Cause I don't like it on here Let me see I don't really mind if it's on here So it does have a logo on the cable. Vancer is gold plated. And this is the mouse. White, blue, but that is just the covering. Yeah, it's just the covering. It's kind of white. It's not pure white, but it's pearly. Scroll steps are just like the Deluxe M800. These are very cheap buttons. And then the Vanser Gretta. You have Kinda of pre-travel, not that much. And then they click. There's a lot of post-travel. And a little bit of pre-travel. Then let's take these skates off. There's one. There's number two. There's one. And there is number two. And they do come with the Vancer USB C in and USB A in as well. And that's it for the packaging. And the Dongles right at the bottom. That should be pretty easy to take out. And it looks just like the Deluxe M800 dongle but without that too. It's gold plated, I think. 
No, it's silver plated. There's no logo over here, but there is a logo on the deluxe. And it looks quite the same. A little let's see this the Vancer is a bit a bit smaller and the the side buttons are very good. And this is better than the deluxe or they're a bit heavier to press down. These are very light clicks. I think these are T TC gold. It has like a white. I think this is refresh rate. On and off button. And then the manual. You should probably look at. This is the pulling rate DPI. So let's plug this in. Plug this in. It is very tight. And it's, a, it's a bit creaking in there too. It's a bit heavy. There's a bit of a gap in there can see so that's as far as it can go let's get this grit so so I've been using the Vansa Greta for about two days and the Vansa Greta is a very good budget or so-called budget wireless mouse and looks like a final mouse the sensor very smooth and the ptfe feet are very nice with the glorious ice i know that some people really don't like the glorious ice because how fast it is or how much the durability wears down but it is a very good mouse for mouse pad for like on sale for like 20 bucks and using the Vansa Gretta is very smooth and not scratchy at all the clicks are very light as you'll hear So yeah, and these switches are using Kale TTC Gold, and they're a bit heavy, and you would not want these, want this mouse for Minecraft PvP. And for FPS, these this is a very good mouse for using FPS style games. Like Valorant, Fortnite, uh, CSGO, Rainbow Six, very nice and light mouse. But the one downfall of the the mouse is how how there's holes over here. But personally, I like the holes because you know where to put your thumb right here or like your your ring finger and then you can click away but how the TTC gold for PvP you only get like 6 FPS just like doing this usually when you usually get like 8 or something there is a software but the software is really bad like worse than the Viper or 
not the Viper Mini Ultimate, but the M800 Deluxe M800 and but the skates are very nice and the the middle mouse button it is very clicky better than the uh, Deluxe M800 and the scroll wheel I really like because it's a bit It's a bit more step. You can feel like in-depth steps and you can automatically put the refresh rate or report rate, this button, and it shows you. And then the LOD, lift off distance. And the side buttons are very nice. But a bit of the side pre-travel, or a lot. But personally, I don't, this one like barely has any. And here goes, a little bit. But there's a lot of post-travel. There's the click, and then you got more here. The right click doesn't really have any, surprisingly. But there's a lot of post travel. And for the dongle. Is also very nice. So this is the logo, Banser. But the one thing is, it is super hard. Rip the dancer grits up. <laughs> it is very hard to take these apart. There's a bit of separation here, but I don't really care. This is pretty hard too, but it's gold plated and it's gold plated. And this is, this is really hard to, to put in. Uh, not as much. Take apart is very a lot. It takes long. Or not take long. But this is the dongle. I usually, I usually just shove it right here. Because it goes well. And I did not charge it yet. So it's been two days. And it goes to sleep very, not fast, but uh, like 10 minutes if you're not using it, then it goes to sleep fast. Or, and you can't move the mouse to wake it. You gotta click a button and then move it. For the Deluxe M100, you can just move it and it'll just wake. But the Vansa Gretza, you can't move it and it'll wake. You have to click like, like uh, any button and it'll wake up. So yeah. And that's about it. The Van Segretta. Very good mouse, budget wireless mouse with a PM3370 sensor. Very nice. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.